What is up, guys? Binku49 here. We're back on the Desolation map, and today we're going to answer some of your questions. I've been waiting to do this. I've wanted to do this. It's a great idea. It was about time. I can't wait to answer some of your questions today. In the background, we'll be working on the Costco today. I want to thank Samurai Daniel, Ah Hell Nah, and Sage Omnivore for helping me lay down this floor. It would have taken hours, but we got it done quickly, and I was able to start doing detail work thanks to them. So thank you guys. I really appreciate your help and your willingness to help. It really makes me happy. So let's get to the questions, right? I'm gonna be working first. I'm, th I'm gonna be working on this Costco while I talk. Uh, I'm hoping to get done the place where we set up for membership and also the food area. I'm going to get as much done as I can while I answer questions, so let's get into it. The first question, not really a question, a lot of you were asking about me in general. How old I am, what I do, do I go to school, and all that. First of all, I am 32? No. 33? No, 32. I'm 32. Once you pass 30 years old, guys, you don't remember your age, really. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm 32, and I know I'm a lot older than almost all of you, and I, I know I'm older than the majority of Minecraft players, but I'm a kid at heart. I've always been a kid at heart, and I'm always going to be a kid at heart. So Minecraft is just the perfect thing for me, because I'm such a creative person, and uh, it lets me be a child while still being super creative at the same time, and I really like that about it. I don't ever want to grow up. Peter Pan was on to something, guys. <laughs> if I can play Minecraft when I'm 50, I will, because it's the thing for me. It's, uh, it's, something, it's something that really resonated with me, and, you know, I feel like a lot of people get uh, made fun of because of their age, and they, oh, you still play video games, or you still play Minecraft, the kid's game, and I think that's a horrible thing to say to a person, because you're only as old as your mentality. If you are a 16 year old in your head, then you're gonna stay 16 year olds until you die. You know what I mean? Age is a mentality, not a number of years, guys. Keep that in mind. Uh, so you can be a 50 year old who's having a lot of fun playing video games, no problem. I, that's how I feel at least. For school, I'm out of school obviously. I went to school already, went to San Jose State, and I studied English with a concentration in career writing. Which basically means I wanted to be a writer, and uh, I have accomplished that, not in the you know, the way I wanted to. So, right now I'm writing for Mountain Bike Magazines, I'm doing freelance work, which basically means I don't work for these magazines or websites. I, uh, I write articles for them and then I send them in and then they publish them and they pay me and all that. So I don't have a real, like, salaried position as a writer. I do have a, a night job at a bar where, you know, I make the cash I need to survive and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, there's... You know, I'm hoping to uh, branch out with my writing. I So what I do now is I write for, about mountain biking. Uh, mountain biking is my main passion. I live for mountain biking. And by mountain bike, I don't mean just, you know, on the asphalt and stuff. I mean, I do mountain biking in the dirt, uh, on, on mountains. I go up the mountain, and I come down the mountain, and uh, I come down as fast as I can, basically. <laughs> Uh, so I have full suspension mountain bike, and I go uh, all the time. I live in Northern California, which is the birthplace of mountain biking. So I live at the beginning of it. Uh, I'm very fortunate to live here, and I have some of the best trails in the country right outside my back door. One of them I can even cycle to. I don't have to get in a car, so I'm very fortunate with that. Uh, and so it's my passion, and I like to write about my passion, so I've been writing about mountain biking, and it's, it's really been fun, and uh, I hope to keep on doing that for a long, long time. All right, so that's about me. Uh, which question should we ask next? So let's start with... Hmm. What inspired you to make a city? This question is from Assassin Boy and Supergirl via YouTube. Uh, one of my uh, older subscribers, I remember uh, that guy. So what inspired you to make a city? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I didn't want to make a city. What I wanted to make was a game. And I wanted a game so large in size and scale and scope that it would blow people's minds. And the only way to build something that big, I felt, was by building a city. I already have, had experience from building cities because I built a survival city. So I did the cities the hard way. Like I knew how to do cities the hard way, so to go into creative mode was super simple. So yeah, I didn't want to build a city, I wanted to build a game, and I wanted to build a game that I've wanted to make for about 15 years. I've wanted to make this game. I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, I had the idea first, but way back before the survival genre, you know, the survival horror, 
open world genre existed, I wanted to build this game exactly. And I didn't have Minecraft because it didn't exist. And I don't know how to code, so I couldn't build a game myself. So I just sat on the idea and then watched all these other games come out like State of Decay and Daisy. And I'm just sitting there like, that was my idea and I could have done it way better than those people. So that's why I wanted to build Desolation. Finally, I had the chance to build my game the way I wanted to build it. And it's coming through. So that's why I built Desolation. That's why I started Desolation. Uh, another reason was because I wanted to give back to the community. A lot of these uh, huge projects are kind of esoteric. They build them and you look at them for 10 minutes and then you leave and you never think about them again. Not with Desolation, guys. You're going to come into Desolation and we're going to play. And we're going to play for days and weeks and months and years because it's non-stop fun. The game is different every time you play it. And there's so many different modes we can play. So it's just non-stop fun. I wanted to build something that I could use. So that's why Desolation exists today. Let's go with this one. If you could apocalypse any other Minecraft world like Los Angeles, would you? And this comes from Nathan Gorenson via YouTube. Wow. Apocalypsizing Los Angeles would be... It would take months, I think. It would be one of the bigger projects I've ever worked on, besides Desolation, of course. But that would be insanely fun. I could imagine Los Angeles just wrecked. Could you see it? That'd be so cool. Uh, Dan is probably the best uh, modern and realistic builder I've ever seen, so it would be an honor to desolate his <laughs> his map. But I, you know, I don't think he wants to see his world destroyed. I mean, he put so much work and effort into making it look so pretty. If he wants me to do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, let's see. Next question. All right, uh, this. Uh, he says you should build an actual football stadium. I know there is already a football field, but at a stadium, would you do that? This comes from Cole via Twitter. Yeah, I purposely wanted to stay away from the stadiums. Uh, I did build a high school football field just because I felt like it would be a cool addition to the to the map. But when you look at cities, every single city <laughs> in Minecraft has a stadium. And I, you know me guys, I like to be different. So I didn't want to add a stadium for that reason. That was one reason, because everyone has a stadium. Uh, second reason, it would be, it would be pointless in desolation. It would be empty. It's just emptiness, you know? There's nothing to loot and scavenge, really. You go into the locker room, maybe. But it's just a bunch of seats and a field. There's nothing really to scavenge and loot there. So it would be kind of just a place that people would look around and then leave really quickly, and it would take a long time to build, and it would take up a lot of space. So space is super precious on the Desolation map. We do not have a lot of it. Every block, every like area is pretty much spoken for at the moment. I've left one little area open to, um, you know, no plan. There's no plans for that area right now, just so I can be flexible in case someone has a really good idea and I can put that in. But yeah, we're running out of space on the Desolation map. We're not going to expand the world. I don't want to expand the world because I want to have an ending point. If we just like built and built and built, this game would never be finished. But since we're going to be building on the 360 size map, and once that's filled up, we're done, then we're done. And we can finally say, oh, okay, let's play. You know what I mean? The other reason for a stadium was because... What did I say? <laughs> Everyone has one. There's nothing really to loot. They take up a lot of space. I guess that's all the reasons. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not huge into sports. I used to be a huge sports guy, but I slowly transitioned from loving to watch sports and be a fan of sports to hating to watch sports and wanting to participate in sports. Like I said, guys, I'm 32 years old. I'm getting older. I don't have much time to just go hard in the sports paint, you know? So I like to play sports. I don't like to watch sports anymore. I'm done with watching them very passive thing. I don't like it. Okay, let's see what else. Mm, do you have a PC PS4 from Parsons Gaming on YouTube? No, I don't plan on getting one either. I'm sorry if you want to you know, participate and you have a, uh, a PlayStation, but who knows? Maybe one day this could be DLC. Who knows? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to that because the future is uncertain. Okay, uh, this is a good question. If you could instantly finish the Costco or the Skyscraper, which would you choose? This comes from Zachary Gibson via YouTube. Uh, if I could instantly finish the Costco or the Skyscraper, I would instantly finish the Skyscraper. 
Costco, I could see it in my head. I've been to Costco hundreds of times. I can close my eyes and I look and I see the Costco and I can build that. If I can see it in my head, guys, I can build it. Hands down, no question. If I have a visual image in my mind, I will build it in Minecraft to the best of my ability. The skyscraper is like 14 floors and I can see one of them. And that's the one I'm working on and I still don't really see it, you know what I mean? The skyscraper is very up in the air. I'm making it up as I go, basically. I have like one or two floors uh, plans for it and I have an overall plan for the fire aspect of it. But other than that, I don't know what's going on each floor. So. I would rather have the skyscraper done instantly just because it's so uncertain. I don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> Every time I go in there, it's a struggle to come up with ideas and to implement those ideas. At the Costco, I just go in and start building my vision. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, then there was a follow-up question to that. This one comes... Okay, this one is, if you could instantly finish Desolation, would you? And this comes from Jam Jor via YouTube. That is a good question. I am torn. If I could finish Desolation instantly, uh, the benefits of that would be the game is done. I don't. I wouldn't have too much more to do YouTube <laughs> videos on at that point. I guess it would all be PvP. I guess, but yeah, the game would be done and we'd get to play it, and that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. But the drawbacks, like I just said, I'd have no more videos to make, and I'd have nothing else to build. And those two things are huge for me because I love building. I get so much fun from it. A lot of people are like, oh, I got to build this and I got to build that. And they're like reluctant to build and hesitant. No, I'm like, I get to build a Costco today. I love to build and I have so much fun doing it. And I have a lot of fun interacting with people while I do it and like, you know, bouncing ideas off of them and then them responding to that and giving me more ideas and then taking that idea and tweaking it with a combination of my idea. And then it's something totally different that we didn't have when we started. Started, that for me is fun I wouldn't give that up for anything so no I would not finish desolation instantly if anything I wanted to take longer <laughs> if anything I wanted to take longer I know it sucks not being able to play on it but I'm having so much fun building it all right are you going to make a server out of desolation on PC eventually this comes from MF Ferrone 17 via Twitter I hope so. Uh, I know that you know a lot of people are converting their their Xbox worlds to PC, but I'm not sure about the texture pack. Uh, I know Dan has done it. Think, I don't know how he did it. Right? He he did he export the city texture pack to PC? I don't know how he did that. I'm gonna have to ask him. If you guys know of a way to to export uh, the console texture packs onto PC, then absolutely yes, absolutely yes, I want to do that. But it's, Desolation does not work in any other texture pack. Well, we've tried it. Once you start building in a pack, you're locked in. That's it. No turning back after that. So, yeah. Uh, if it's possible, yes. If it's possible, yes. Okay. A couple more questions. Let's see here. If you could have one item from a block from a mod on PC Minecraft into Xbox, what item would you get? Mob block X. X. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm, I jumbled that. That's from Sage Omnivore 500 via Twitter. He's basically asking if I could have any mod from PC. What would I have? Uh, I really like the Optifine. I like view, uh, zooming in. That's really cool. Um, I also love. I don't know what mod it is, but I've seen Etho do it. When you shoot an arrow and you hit someone, it gives a ping. I love. That's the mod I want the most because I uh, love to fight with arrows, and sometimes you're not sure if you got that hit, but if you hear the ping. Then you know that you've done some damage, and I really like that. I know that we have the little noise in Minecraft now on consoles. It goes ring. It's like it's like wood stuck in wood, but that just doesn't do it for me. I want that ding. <laughs> All right, and let's see what's next. What led you to name your series Desolation and your city Coveton? John Perry via YouTube. Oh, I love this question. I've been waiting to answer this question. <laughs> okay, Desolation is pretty straightforward. Solid and I were thinking of names and you know we spent a couple months actually just deliberating and tossing names around because the name is so important and I don't remember who came up with it um, that's how all great ideas come about when two people get together and then you, you don't know who came up with the idea we probably it was probably a joint effort I don't remember now uh, but desolation is the one word I think describes the city of Covington better than anything else. You are alone in this city surrounded by death. 
Desolation, for those who don't know, means being alone. It's desolate. It's empty. It's it's dead. You know, desolation. There's nothing there, and you are alone by yourself, and it's on you to survive. And that's what I wanted this whole the whole map to feel like. Um, like it's you against this world that's trying to kill you at every step. So I think Desolation was the most beautiful name to use for this game. Uh, I I wouldn't choose any other name at this point. It's the best. Uh, Covetin is the name I came up with. Again, Solid and I were throwing around ideas for a long time. We wanted to have the perfect word for this city. And Covington is, you know, a popular name for cities. But I wanted to have a play on that. And I chose Covetton. It's not spelled Covington. There's no G in it. It's Covetton. Like the word covet. And to covet something is to love something uh, so much detriment you know what i mean i'll probably put the the definitions on the screen <laughs> but it's like uh, co when you covet something it's it's in, in biblically in in the biblical sense when you covet something it's a negative thing you love something too much something you don't need something that's causing you harm is when you covet and so this is a dark city i don't want to give away too much of the backstory because the backstory is what holds this whole thing together but this city was not a good city before the the madness think sodom and gomorrah think uh think philadelphia <laughs> think baltimore <laughs> you know what i mean guys just uh depraved depravity and uh just depression and all sorts of d words that you don't want to get involved with so i thought the word coveting which is a made-up word i thought it was it used the word covet it was such a negative thing because these people are covetous the the residents here were covetous and they paid the price Okay, I think a couple more questions and we'll be done. Will you ever have a beach area? This came, comes from Wayne Cauchy via YouTube. The answer that, to that is resoundingly no. Absolutely not. When, we, when I started this project, my main goal was to make something so insane. I didn't care about time. I knew it would be done in a few years, <laughs> okay? I didn't care about how long it took. I wanted to do something so insane that when you look at it, you're like, okay... <laughs> That's it. Close, close Minecraft. Minecraft's over. You know what I mean? Of course, it's not the biggest project ever, and it won't be. There's been bigger projects. But for console, I've not seen too many things like this. We're not there yet. And I'm talking about Desolation in its finished form, not Desolation now. But I wanted it to be the biggest, most impressive thing you've ever seen. When I go into a city and I see ocean and beach, I'm like, well, there goes a whole lot of space you could have used for more buildings, basically. Yeah, I don't. I don't want any parks. I mean, we have tiny little parks in the suburbs, but they're so small. I don't want any parks. I don't want any open space. I don't want any beach. I don't want any ocean. I don't want any lakes, rivers, any waterways at all because those just take up space and they're nothing. They're just nothing. Uh, I know you could have fun with maybe bridges and stuff for PvP, but I would rather just make a city so dense. That it feels like a real industrialized city. It's just so packed with stuff that, you know, it just feels real. You're not going to have a stadium in a city next to the beach, maybe in a few places, but generally no. When you build a stadium, you build it way away from your downtown. For instance, the 49ers stadium, I live in the Bay Area. San Francisco is 40 miles away from their stadium. They're, they're the San Francisco 49ers, but it's a 45, 50 mile away thing so you don't have stadiums in downtown areas in a few places like Pittsburgh I guess but for the most part your stadiums are kind of away um, for the most part your beaches are kind of away there's not too many major metropolitan areas right on beaches you know it doesn't make sense so that's why I don't want to have a beach area it just takes up space we're gonna be building interiors guys every single building has an interior that you can explore Never mind a beach. You can't explore a beach. You can look at a beach and have it. You could have it explored a beach in literally 10 seconds. Okay. Last question. I think we'll just end with this question. Here's a few questions Cats or dogs? Coke or Pepsi? What's 7 times 3? What's your favorite food? And is it just black and blue or white and gold? This is, comes from 8 Faust 2 via YouTube. Okay. Well, cats or dogs? I prefer dogs, but cats are cool too. I've never actually owned a dog. Uh, as, as a kid growing up, my mom loved cats, so we always had cats, and they're cool, but they're not the same as dogs, you know that. Coke or Pepsi, neither. <laughs> they're both disgusting, but I do drink Coke from time to time. 
Pepsi is basically sugar water in a can. What's seven times three? I guess it's twenty one. I don't know. What's your favorite food? Uh, it's a it's a tie. It's between pizza <laughs> and salteñas. Salteñas, none of you have ever heard of. It's a Bolivian food, which is where my mom's from, my family's from, and it's sort of like an empanada, but not. Uh, it's it's got it's a it's a pocket of dough, and inside there's this spicy juice, and then there's meat, and uh, all sorts of things, and it's so good. Oh, it's one of the best foods I've ever had. Uh, but pizza's great. I love Indian food. Uh, I like food. Food's good. Uh, is it just black and blue or white and gold? The dress for me was black and blue. The white and gold, I don't even understand. I don't know what's going on behind that. My cones and rods are fine, though, okay? <laughs> yeah, that was a weird thing on the internet. I don't know. So, I think that's the Q&A for today. I hope I got to most of your questions. I know I couldn't answer all of them, and this video went long as it is, so I apologize for that. But hopefully I answered all your questions. We will be doing this periodically, you know? I think it was fun. Fun for me. So let's keep on doing it. If you have any more questions, just keep submitting them, and I'll probably like save them up for the next one. Or I'll just answer them. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Costco's coming along slowly but surely. Yeah. So I'll thank you guys again. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.